How to easily create character sheet inside Stable Diffusion using Control Net. Thanks to a Reddit user by the name of Lekima, we're gonna be using this special open pose image template to generate images of our fantasy character under different angles. So for this, you're gonna click the link in the description down below. You're gonna arrive on this image, right click, save the image on your computer, then in Stable Diffusion, you're gonna write your prompt. So something like character sheet of a woman with red hair, wearing a white top and a bottom blue skirt, simple background and reference sheet. You can even increase the the weight of certain tags, such as character sheet, simple background, or reference sheet. So for example, a prompt like that could also work very well. Now, if you are interested, this prompt will be in the description down below, so you can simply copy and paste it. Then you're gonna come here, click on Control Net, drop the template that we downloaded, click Enable, do not choose anything for the preprocessor. For the model, choose Open Pose. Then for the resolution, select 1024 by 512. Put the seed if you want to, and then click on Generate. And this is the final result. As you can see, using the template right here, we have generated a very similar character under different angles. And if it's not perfect, don't worry, because we're gonna solve this issue right now. Just click Send to Inpaint. Let's say, for example, that we want to change the color of the skirt from red to blue. For this, I highly advise you to choose the 1.5 in painting model. Write a simple prompt, impaint over the skirt, choose a pretty high denosing strength, input the same resolution, and then click generate. And this is the final result. As you can see, now the skirt has the same color as the other one. And now let's use the special impainting trick to make the image even better. For this, click send to extras, resize by 4, choose the length source of scanner, click on generate. Then once it's done, you're gonna click on send to impaint again. Then you're gonna write the exact same prompt that we use for the text to image. So just copy and paste it right here. Then paint over the area that you want to change. Change, choose only masked, select a high resolution, then select a low denoising strength, and then click on generate. And this is the final result. As you can see now the area that you impeded is now at a way higher resolution. And now we're gonna do that same impeding trick on every angle of the character. For this, just click on Impaint again, then Impaint over the character that you want to change, then click Generate. And now as you can see, our character is at a higher resolution than the others. So again for the next one, the fourth one, and the first one. And now let's make the face even better. And this is the final result. As you can see, if you compare it to the first version of the image, to the image that we just impainted, there is a real huge difference between the images. And we have now created a fantasy character under different angles inside Stable Diffusion using a simple open post template. So there you go, definitely try this out yourself because it's really, really cool. Alright, see you soon, bye bye!